So let's quickly pick up where we left off and um, see how we can do something slightly different, which is to use the name of the row and the name of the column to find which cell we want to target. And um, quickly, something I didn't say in the previous lesson is that uh, when we're writing um, these, uh, let's say, addresses here in uh, these brackets, what we're doing is we're first targeting the row and then the column. So this one over here is referring to row number one. This one over here is referring to column number one. So now let's say that we wanted to actually use the name of the row and the name of the column. So the name of the row here is row. It's always in touch. The first cell of the row is the name of the row. So the name of this row is number. The name of this row is row. If we had a third row and we called it third row, well, actually it would be, let's say, row um, number two, well, that would be the name of the row. Um, and this one is called column, this one is called three. It's always the first cell that determines the name. And so let's say we call this one column. So the intersection of row and column is 0 0.1. So let's say that we copied this into our opacity field here, and um, we get an error. And the reason we get an error is because for touch, touch is expecting a number. Um, and row here is essentially just uh, a piece of text. We call it a string. So when we put uh, a string here and a string here, touch doesn't really know what to look for. So we just have to tell it, hey, this is a string. And because it's a dat, you know that if you see a string, you're going to look for a name of a row or a column. So we just put them between quotes, which is the way that we usually identify strings in Python. So if I just copy and paste this, I will now get the right address, which will be this cell 0 0.1, with 0 0.5, we get 0 0.5 in the opacity. Talking about strings, there's one other thing that we should quickly look at, and that is how to actually grab a string from a DAT. And if we were to put down a text top, and let's say that we had a DAT that had a bunch of information and we just wanted to grab the information from that DAT. Well, what we could do is we could do exactly what we did here and we could try to write, let's say, so op table one, that doesn't change. And we want to just grab the text that is here at in this first cell, which is row zero, column zero. So let's say that I did um, zero, zero, and I copied and pasted this into the text field here. Now you'll see what happens is that automatically, um, because strings are allowed in this place, um, what we expect in the case of um, what touch expects is a string. So it's going to think that this is OK. So what you want to do is you want to make this an expression to make sure that touch is trying to evaluate this. I realize that there's a quote missing, but that is going to fix the problem. And now we actually get the text that is here. Sorry about that. So essentially, when you want to grab um, a text from a DAT, what you want to do is you just want to point to that particular um, that particular cell and you want to make sure that you have it in the expression field that the that the expression um, uh, checkbox is turned on because if you make it just a constant it will seem to work but it won't do what you want and that is because touch is not evaluating this as an expression it's thinking oh yeah I don't care this is uh, something I can use, it's text, and it doesn't care about the formatting. So you need to make sure it understands it has to evaluate this. I hope that makes sense.